Hey everybody, welcome to Simple, Cheap, and Easy DIYs by Simple DIYer. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. As always, you can check the description box for the list of items used. In today's video, we're going to be making this boho bathroom decor. Now you could always change it up a little bit and make it into farmhouse decor or just everyday decor. First, we're going to take three of these puzzle wood games and we're just going to take out all the puzzle pieces. I'm going to take my apple barrel paint in the color brown oxide and just mix that with some water to make a stain. Before we stain these wood pieces, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand some of the lettering down. It doesn't have to be perfect because the paint will cover it, but just uh, get as much of the red off as you can. And this is what they will look like once you have them stained. Now I'm gonna take these wall hanging stickers and I'm just gonna go ahead and place one sticker on each of the wood pieces. Next, I'm going to take these succulent wall hanging stickers and I'm just going to go ahead and place one succulent sticker on each of the wood pieces. You can always cut the succulent stickers to fit the wood piece, but I just went ahead and folded mine over instead of cutting them. Now I'm going to take five of the wood puzzle pieces and I'm just going to sand off the lettering and I'm going to stain four of them using that same paint mixture. Next I'm going to go ahead and build a box shape. I am using hot glue for video purposes but I do recommend using an E6000 or a wood glue for a more permanent hold. Also I do suggest giving all the pieces uh, in today's project a coat of Mod Podge to go ahead and seal them since they will be used in the bathroom.
Next, taking those same succulent stickers, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the stickers on the front of the box. I did change up the succulents how I had them, so this is what the final stickers look like. Now taking some of this cotton twine, I'm just going to go ahead and make a tassel, and I'm just going to wrap that around my fingers. I did wrap that around about 16 times. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut an additional piece of string and loop that around and tie it. Now I'm going to take another piece of string and go ahead and tie a section off as you can see I'm doing here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the bottom and trim up the bottom of the tassel. Now there are a lot of tutorials out there a lot better showing how to make a tassel, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I made the tassels for this project. Now taking that same twine, I'm going to go ahead and measure it a little bit longer than the width of the box. Once I cut that, I'm going to go ahead and glue it on the inside of the box on both sides and kind of drape it around the front as you can see here. Some of that footage was lost, but this kind of shows you what I did. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the tassels and just tie that to the twine as you can see me doing here. I did make a total of five tassels and then I'm just going to go ahead and space them out along the front of the box. And this is what it will look like once you have all the tassels attached. For this next project, I'm going to be using only one of these mouse traps, and I'm going to go ahead and remove all the hardware off. Now when you're removing this piece, you do want to be careful because it does have a spring in there and it can pinch you, so just be careful when you're removing this piece off. Taking one of the puzzles that I have circled, we're going to use two pieces from that. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue the wood piece from the mouse trap onto the wood backing. I, again, I do recommend a wood glue or an E6000 glue for this. Taking one of those puzzle pieces, I'm going to go ahead and glue that onto the back.
Now taking that second wooden puzzle piece, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that onto the first piece as you can see me doing here. And this is what it will look like. And then you're just gonna go ahead and paint that using the same stain. Taking those same succulent stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and place two of the stickers on this toothbrush holder. And this is what it will look like once this project is complete. For this last project, I'm just gonna take this golf peg game. And for some reason, the back of this was pulling, pilling up. So I just went ahead and removed it off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stain it using that same paint mixture. Next, I'm gonna take five of these tumbling tower blocks and stain them as well. Once I have those stained, I'm gonna go ahead and glue them onto the pegboard, as you can see me doing here. Um, also on this, I do suggest sealing this with a Mod Podge, since this is gonna be a soap holder. Again, for all the projects I made today, I do suggest you using a wood glue or an E6000 glue and also sealing them all with Mod Podge since they will be in the bathroom and be around moisture. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see every time that I upload a new video. As always, you can leave me a comment below and let me know what you wanna see next. Until next time, have a great day.